Hey everyone, and welcome to freezing rural Sweden. We have a lot of frozen lakes over here and over here. And we are, we, you and I, <laughs> are taking the dogs for a walk on my lunch break from work. Our neighbors are doing some logging of their land. So I'm taking you guys with me on a new path that I can walk the dogs on now that they have felled some of their forest. It's a little rugged, but we will do what we can. I thought I would take the opportunity to film my November month end video. It is December 2nd today, and I cannot believe that there's like less than a month left of my entire one year journey. And I have been doing a lot of reflecting over the past month and a lot of sort of, yeah, acknowledging the journey and all the hard work that's gone into it and also all the th things that I messed up on and things that I wish I could have gone back and uh, did differently and a lot of things I'm extremely grateful that I actually figured out in time. So I can't really be too disappointed um, given where I'm at now, but this has been one hell of a year. Seriously, like, ugh. Anyway, so I just wanted to talk about a couple things I did differently this month, just for the sake of documenting it. Come on, you guys. And they're pretty brief. The first is that I uh, officially increased the number of days that I lift last month, so in, in November. I went from four lifting days a week to five. Which is really funny because when I added in that fifth lifting day, that first week, it felt so extreme. And I don't know why, you know? Now looking back, I think to myself, God, I can't believe I was only lifting four days a week for so long. Um, but anyway, I did that and everything went great. And the second thing I did differently was that we've actually up until now had a very warm winter which meant I was able to be much more active on our farm than usual, which translated to the fact that I had a very cardio intensive month in November. I was doing so much labor ahead of this frost. And one of those projects was that we had a lot of trees we had to fell on our land too. And we needed to chop those up and get them stored before the heavy rains and the snow and the freeze came um, so that we could start drying that wood out to use as firewood in future years. So our neighbor came over and felled the trees and then like broke them up into chunks but then I, me alone, had to manually, without any equipment, gather all these logs up and store them and it was just so, it was so much work. So because of that, I had to be a little creative with my diet. I had a couple weeks where I didn't track my macros 100%, mostly because, mostly because I knew I was kind of on track, but also I really did need to modify and increase my caloric intake based off of how I was feeling, because I was burning some calories, you guys. Um, and I also weighed myself several times, I think four times throughout the month. I will put a picture there in the corner uh, so you can see my um, weight for the, 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 the month. Um, I dropped weight rather quickly this month, more quickly than I had expected. I'm really only aiming to lose a kilo a month because I don't, I don't want to lose weight too quickly because I don't want to harm my metabolism and I also don't want to lose any of the muscle mass I have. So I've just really been trying to stay conservative in my weight loss for these past 11, 12 weeks. Um, but I dropped pretty quickly. I think I, I think as of right now, I'm down about two kilos for the month of November. I have not weighed myself officially yet for the end of November. And there's a reason for that and I'll get to it in a minute. Anyway, so I had to kind of keep my finger on the pulse of my body in November because I was showing signs of not eating enough. I was getting a lot of cravings. I was sleeping poorly, really bad mood swings. Um, it just, 
I just was not eating enough given how many calories I was burning. And then the last thing that I sort of did differently for November was that I started drinking an exponential amount of water. I am notoriously bad with water intake. I never drink water. Maybe I get a single glass of water into my body each day. Usually my liquid comes in the form of milk because I freaking love milk and coffee, which I also freaking love. <laughs> but I was starting to get really bad headaches and I know I'm just chronically underhydrated. So I went from drinking maybe one glass of water a day and then some milk, whatever, to drinking approximately three liters of water a day. And to be honest, I wish I would like, I wish I could say that it was my health and well-being that motivated that change. But in actuality, it was that one of the things I think I'd like to try next year in spring, maybe around mid-February to March, is the 75 hard challenge, which I'll let you guys look up on your own if you haven't heard of it before. Apparently it's becoming pretty trendy. I heard about it a year ago and it's just stayed in the back of my mind as this crazy thing that I would love to do once I started getting more sleep, you know, as my kids got a little older. One of the rules of this challenge, which I'll talk about in a video next year, is that you need to drink a gallon of water a day, which is 3.8 liters, which for the record is really, really extreme. <laughs> but I'm getting in about three, sometimes more, sometimes close to three and a half liters of water a day. And I really love the change. I love how it makes me feel. Um, I do have to say I'm sleeping a lot better. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, I don't have skin problems, so I can't say that that's been a benefit, but I just love the feeling that I'm doing something good for my body, you know, and just really detoxing it. I also don't know if that has contributed to my weight loss for the month. I don't know how it works with water. I know I've been chronically dehydrated for basically the last three decades. So I would have imagined that the water intake would have increased my weight for this month a little bit just because I'm finally properly hydrated. But anyway, that's the final thing I did different this month. I am not going to do measurements or a weigh-in or pre-pregnancy jeans try on this month. And the reason for that is, as I've said in all my other videos, I don't like to do any of that when I am either like on, how do I say this? When Aunt Flo has arrived or around the time that Aunt Flo will be arriving. Because I, like many other women, I'm sure, uh, retain a lot of water and I get very bloated. So nothing fits right. I do not feel my best. I'm very like visibly swollen. It's just, there's too many variables. It's not a good time to be doing, like taking my weight and my measurements and stuff. So I have always waited until that time is over before I do any kind of month end measurements. And it's December 2nd already, right? And my period just started today. So that means that it's not gonna be for another four or five days before I'd get around to taking my stats and I'm, you know, I'm already going to be like a full week into December. So I have decided I'm just not going to do any of my stats. I've already taken my weight a bunch of times last month. So I'm just going to say that I ended the month at 67.2 kilo. That could be totally off, you know. So it's, it's only written in pencil because I don't know how much my weight will have changed now that I'm not doing so much cardio and I have sufficiently like fed myself again I had some really really hungry days in November and we didn't celebrate Thanksgiving at least not with food or a feast or anything here in Sweden so I didn't have any of those kind of like overindulging days but I have had a couple refeed days where I did purposefully like increase my calories, let myself eat more fats and carbs because I was so, so hungry. 
So I might have gained some weight back. I don't know. We'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> but over here in the corner, I will put my progress pictures. I took these on November 27th. Um, I decided that I had a few minutes in the morning and I was feeling relatively normal considering is how now I know my aunt flow was about a week away. I should have done my measurements and my weigh-in then. But anyway, here are my progress uh, photos for the month. And um, I'll also put up a graphic here where it compares this month on the top to my October results on the bottom. It's a small picture, so hopefully you can see. The results are visible, like if you look closely, but they're very minor. Okay, we're splitting hairs right now. So let's talk about December for just a minute. I am doing a couple things differently. Farm work is completely done. So I need to decrease my caloric intake to maintain the deficit that I have been, I think that I think I've been maintaining. Um, so I have decreased my calories from eating 1,780 per day to 1,680 per day. So I've only dropped it down 100 calories. And then in terms of cardio, as you can see over here, um, I am walking the dogs for a four to five kilometer walk most days of the week, weather permitting. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. I feel comfortable with dropping my calories, not only because I'm not doing such intensive cardio anymore, but also it's like the last month, it's the last month of this cut, and I have maintained a very modest calorie deficit, so I don't feel like I'm putting my metabolism too much at risk, but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how the month goes. I'm continuing to lift five days a week, so that is staying the same. And I'm just, I'm just riding out this month. So I've looked at my menstrual cycle calendar and everything is on track for me to be able to do my final weigh-in, measurements, pre-pregnancy genes, try on, etc. on December 31st. So that's what we're gonna do. And then, <laughs> That video and those pictures, like this is the craziest part of this whole thing, right? My December 31st, 2020 picture and video, my ultimate after results are simultaneously in the same moment going to be my before photos again, because we're gonna start a whole new year and a whole new journey. Um, and I've been doing a lot of thoughts about what is my post diet plan? I've spent so much time thinking about how to do the diet and how to get to where I am now that I never really spent much time on thinking about what comes after because I've never done that before in my life. I've like never made it this far. Um, it's kind of like the same folly that a lot of parents do uh, make when they think about getting pregnant and planning for the pregnancy and the birth, but they never think about postpartum. Like what comes next? A whole life comes next. And I gotta figure out how to get out of this deficit I'm in. So, so with a lot of reading and a lot of research, I've determined that um, my maintenance calories, like if I wanted to just maintain the figure I have now, a lot of calculators say somewhere between 2,000 and 2,100 calories but that doesn't take into effect that my metabolism has slowed down for having been in a diet for the past four months, essentially. Well, three months as of today. So I think my maintenance calories are probably gonna be around 1,850. So I have decided that I'm going to bump my calories up each week by only 50. So the first week of January, I'm gonna go from 1,680 to 1,730. And then for the second week, I'm gonna go up another 50. So back up to 1,780, and then up to 1,830. And then I'm just gonna hold there for 
um, the rest of the month, maybe even into the first week of February, and just see what happens. I might bump up to 1,880, but I would like to get my maintenance, like in an ideal world, my maintenance would at least be 2,000 calories, but that's gonna take some time. So I'd like to get up to as close to 1,900 as possible and just lift, right? Lift, walk the dogs right out the winter. It's gonna be a shitty winter. So just lift, 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 eat smart, and then start the next cut. So I will be talking about this more in my, um, in my next video. I don't wanna spend much more time talking about it now, but I believe that that next cut cycle is going to be the 75 hard challenge. I just need to make sure my husband is on board with it and honestly that I'm on board with it. Um, but one way or the other, I've got still quite a bit, quite a bit of body fat that I would like to lose, like to the tune of maybe five to 6% body fat. So I'm just gonna give my metabolism and my hormones a break for six to eight weeks, get my um, calories back up and stable, and then we will dive back in again. So that's it for this month. Uh, stay tuned, <laughs> in just a couple weeks, it's gonna be the grand finale of this year. And then I will be posting my like documentary style one year summary video, which I've been working on. It's been a lot of fun. So thanks for following along. Go ahead and subscribe if you're curious to see how this all ends and what will come next. Otherwise, I will catch you guys later. Bye.